interrupt your regular programming for this breaking news. A companion hollow has suddenly appeared on 14th Street and has already breached level 3 containment. The Hollow Investigative Association has dispatched a team to the scene to carry out emergency protocols. Evacuation of residents in nearby blocks is underway. Please stay away from the 14th Street area. Wise, come check this out. What's that? 14th Street? I think the news mentioned it earlier. Give me a sec. Yeah, in the Janus Quarter. They say it's already breached the level 3 controls. Yeah. Public security were conducting a manhunt over there today. Evacuations may not be going as expected. So you're saying? We should get ready. We'll be seeing some business coming our way soon. Cool. Now we play the waiting game. Oh, 
choose to resist? In that case, I have no choice but to kill you all! <laughs> You've made a mistake, mister. We aren't your enemy. That is. Falcon 4 to Commander, we've arrived at the source of the light and found the Red Fang Gang. Repeat, we found the Red Fang Gang. Awaiting orders. Boss, it's the Air Force! That flashbang just now, it was to attract a helicopter! You finally noticed? Now it's your turn to choose, you crybaby. You can stay and fight us, and then get caught by public security. Or you can run, and we all get to live. Damn you! Cutting hairs! It's in a hair's nature to avoid getting caught. Don't hold it against me. What? You found the red thing? Then what are you waiting for, Commander? Pick the biggest gun and rain down justice! Falcon 4, attack order received. We're done for. I want to fail like a old metro junction. If that's the case, then this must be the Cretan Hollow. <clears throat> Good. Headset still works, and the recording function is normal. <clears throat> this is Anby Damara, a member of the Odd Job Agency, the Cunning Hairs. I accidentally fell into a companion hollow. I don't have a carrot or proxy support. Probability of getting lost in the hollow is at 96.4%. I will be making a voice log of my experience. Let it serve as evidence for future investigation in the case I am killed or turned into a monster by the ether. Anby's Hollow Survival Log Number One. From my surroundings, I can confirm this is the old Metro Junction area of the Cretan Hollow. The Metro Hollow's terrain is inherently complex. My chances of being rescued will be reduced by 37.8% if I don't consider my next step carefully. If anyone doubts the nature of the Hollow's spatial distortions, please use my recording as proof of their danger. Please don't enter a hollow unless you are a professional investigator. Otherwise... Uh, there you are, Envy! Great! I knew you'd be okay! Whoa, whoa! Hey! What's gotten into you? You almost got me! I've met another being of reason. He looks a lot like my colleague, Billy Kidd. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's me! Billy! An investigator has previously encountered ethereals who can mimic human speech and behavior. The investigator rescued the ethereal pretending to be their teammate, but once they got out of the hollow, it revealed itself. The city made a huge sacrifice, but it was unable to defeat the monster. It was only thanks to a courageous investigator who gave his life to drive the monster back into the hollow that the danger was averted. Come on, the ethereal would be done for the minute it left the hollow. Wait, isn't that the plot of that movie that was in theaters not long ago? There was a long list of victims involved in the incident. I read all their names. That's called a cast list! Question, who would you most like to have dinner with? Huh? Dinner? <laughs> of course. That'd be the big screen superheroes! <laughs> the Starlight Knights! Wait, wait, wait! Put your plate down! I'll tell you! It's really the late-night drama actress from... Oh, sweetie... Monica... <laughs> All clear. The individual has been confirmed as the real Billy Kid. 
Meeting Billy Kidd increases my chances of survival by over 67.8%. I'm glad you're okay, Billy. I told you I'm me! It's been a while since we fell. Nicole must be trying to come up with a way to get us out from the outside. But will she be willing to pay for the help? You know how Nicole is. <laughs> Based on Nicole's tight-fisted spending habits, I'd say your original analysis is likely correct. Damn. Now you've got me worried. Let's not get carried away. We have to work together to get through this. As usual, you take the front, and I'll provide fire support from behind. Right. <sighs> My heart rests a little easier whenever you're around, Bambi. Nothing personal. We're regular people. You're monsters. We're destined to be enemies. I'll aim for your weak spot. It won't hurt. Huh? Oh! The forgot to reload! Okay, buddy, wait a sec! Time out! Whoa! Stay focused. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy! Who's that over there? The strong box is right at his feet. You're right! Awesome! Saves us the hassle of searching for it. Slow down, Ambi. What are you gonna do? Catch him, then recover the strong box. Just wait. I never destroy one! Yep, looks like ether corruption. This mutation is so intense. I don't think this guy has any ether aptitude at all. Oh, destroy! Get take! Oh. His consciousness is still holding on. It's too late. Ether crystals are forming all over his body. He's already. Oh, help! Oh, destroy! It's the core! Damn it! He's almost completely mutated! <laughs> this guy's a tough one! Anby! Get ready! Roger that.
Billy, Anby, and the target of my commission have fallen into that hollow. I need a proxy's help now. Hello, Nicole. It'd be nice of you to knock next time. I feel like I hear of your urgent needs at least three times a month, Nicole. You can make fun of me all you want after you help me deal with this crisis. Please, legendary proxy Faithin. What, what trouble, trouble did, did you, you get, get yourself, yourself into, into this time? time? I just checked. Doesn't look like there's anyone suspicious outside. Don't worry, I wasn't followed. It took a lot to get out of 14th Street unnoticed, but I made sure nobody was tailing me. I hope so. I know things been tight lately with the general election just around the corner. They're really cracking down on proxies. They set up a hotline and... Okay, Nicole, as long as you understand. Let's get straight to the point. I need you for an important commission with pay. So Billy and Andy fell into a hollow. I have to get them out. And I need to get back what I've been commissioned to deliver. It's an emergency and you're the only ones who can help. Why don't you make a rescue application with the Hollow Investigative Association? I don't want to make us a target for the association right now. If they found we'd been involved in Hollow raiding, we'd be in big trouble. And it'd take a small fortune to pay those greedy vultures off. But I can't just abandon my squad, right? Leaving employees behind. <laughs> that does sound a lot like Nicole's style. Hey, don't be mean. I allocate a large portion of our revenue to the employee rescue budget. Look, all in all, my request is simple. All you need to worry about is getting my people and my client's stuff out of the hollow safely. You don't accept basic proxy work now? Faithen, finish this job and I'll clear my entire bill in one go. Okay, deal. Still no good? Then I'll add... Huh? You'll do it? <sighs> Damn. You should have waited for Nicole to add the bonus. Great! There's no time to waste! I'll be waiting for you in the hollow. Uh -uh. Nicole, you're hurt? You should stay and rest a while before heading back out. But... Just listen to my sister. We'll need your help to take Eo somewhere close to the hollow later. Oh, deploying your bang boo double, huh? Okay. Hey, can you tend to Nicole's wound? I'll go debug the HDD and help you with the prep work to infiltrate the hollow. Well then, let's get down to business.